Boche mi kunditatis anunciati et audiator, anunciati usque et extremum terre, liberabit dominus populum suum, alleluia. In nomine Patris et Pili et Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Dominus pobiscum et cum Spiritu Tuo. Pratres, agniscamus picata nostra, ut aptissimus et sacra misteria celebranda. Confitio Dei Onipotenti, et Bobis Fratres, qui apica venimis, qui citazione verbo opere domicione, mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. Idio precor beata Maria semper virginem, omnis angelos et sanctos, et vos fratres, orare pro mea dominum Deum nostrum. Miseriatur nostri onipotens Deus, et demisis picatis nostris, perducat nos ad vitam eternam. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax omnibus boni voluntatis, Laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gracias agimus tibi, propter magnam gloriam tuam. Domini Deis Rex Celestis, Deis Pater Onipotens, Domini Filii Onigeniti Iesu Christe, Domini Deis Agnis Dei Filiis Patris, Quitolis Picata Mundi Miserere Nobis, Quitolis Picata Mundi Suscipia Deprecationem Nostrum, qui seri dexteram patris miserere nobis, quaniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, com sancto spiritu, in gloria Dei patris. Amen. Oremus. Ever-living God, help us to celebrate our joy in the resurrection of the Lord, to express in our lives the love we celebrate. Per Dominum Nostrum Iesum Christum Filium Tuum, in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lexiatum Apostolorum. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. Verbum Domini Deo gratias, jubilate Deo omnis terra. Shout joyfully to God all the earth, sing praise to the glory of his name, proclaim his glorious praise, say to God how tremendous are your deeds. Jubilate Deo omnis terra. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you, sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Jubilate Deo omnis terra. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Jubilate Deo omnis terra. 
Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. Blessed be God who refused me not. My prayer or his kindness. You be Deo omnis terra. Lexio primi epistile beati patri apostoli. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear, so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the Spirit. Verbum Domini Deo gratias. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Sequis dirigit me sermonem meum serva bidici dominus, et patem meus dirigit heum et ameum finiemus. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Dominus pobiscum et cum spiritu tuo. Sequentia sancti evangelii secundum Ioannem. Gloria tibi Domine. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandment. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of truth whom the Word cannot accept, because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in the Father and you are in me and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Verbum Domini, Laus Tibi Christi. Ave Maria, gratia plena Dominus Tecum, Benedicta tum lieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu Iesus. Santa Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Maria auxilium Christianorum, ora pro nobis. In nomine Patris et Pili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Peter and John laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. Acts 8, 18. Put to death in the flesh, Christ was raised to life in the Spirit. 1 Peter 3, 18. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate. John 14, 16. It is man's unconscious reaction to recoil from anything that is painful. We tend to gravitate 
around situations and to people who do not cause us any pain or aggravation. This is human nature. And this is also where the great divide between magnanimity and mediocrity begins. In the present state of our Catholic Church and our society today, we are called to step up of our natural human tendencies and to take an active positive role in staving off the growing chaos that this pandemic has thrown our lives into. Fear is the one thing that is now affecting many of those who are still on lockdowns because of distress, anxiety, and uncertainty over what the future holds for them. This fear is timing everyone into physical, emotional, psychological, and even spiritual paralysis. We see our churches being closed down, our priests forbidden to celebrate Mass and hear confession. We fear to say or do anything because it could be true that the spread of the virus would be uncontrollable. Then the lockdowns is up in some cities and countries, but our churches remain closed. This time, it's the bishops, some bishops, who are against having them reopen. Then, there are those who allowed the sacraments to be celebrated, but came up with the most preposterous, if not horrendous, suggestions. For instance, Holy Communion in Germany and in Italy, they suggest to distribute Holy Communion by putting the Eucharist in a bag and for the people to just get the sacred host for themselves. Do-it-yourself style. This through Robert Cardinal Sara, the prefect of the congregation, put divine worship and the sacraments into a fit. And who wouldn't? Any right-thinking priest worthy of his ordination would. Cardinal Sara decried these bizarre proposals as total madness and absurdity. But how many prelates do we have who are like Cardinal Sara today? Sadly, we can only count with our fingers those who are bold enough to speak out and denounce all these monstrous acts that are being done or suggested by his colleagues. For ordinary priests like me, these prelates are the beacons of light that give us hope and courage to speak up and fight the enemies of the Catholic Church. There's Cardinal Raymond Burke, Cardinal Ludwig Muller, Cardinal Robert Sara, Archbishop Carlo Maria Bigano, Bishop Athanasius Snyder. It seems that finally the prophecy of the Book of Revelation regarding general apostasy has now come and eclipsed the church into darkness, dismantling the light of Christ because of the lack of radicality of its shepherds and baptized Christians in general to boldly defend the church. It seems that our only recourse to survive is to follow what the first Christian communities did. They went underground for almost 315 years until Emperor Constantine the First allow them to freely exercise their faith in the open with the Edict of Milan. It is the failure of both the shepherds and baptized Christians to live faithfully the teachings of Christ and the terrible attitude of trying to please everyone except Christ that has caused the defections of many people from the church and the general loss of faith. So instead of successful apostolates that brought on conversion among non-believers, healing of the sick, and casting out Satan, many Catholic priests and missionaries had become total failures in the work of evangelization. 
influenced by leftist ideology, these priests and missionaries no longer are capable of doing Christ's works as they are no longer working for God, but only for man's interests. In the first 300 years of Christianity, the fathers of the church identified Christians as martyrs who, in imitation of Jesus Christ, introduced the new commandment of love by giving their lives to both friends and enemies as victim priests. Martyrdom can either be red or white. Mother Mary's martyrdom, and perhaps for most of us, was white martyrdom. It is by our daily debt to our self-will and self-love, like holy slaves in absolute obedience to God's will and God's love, that we can already practice white martyrdom even now, as mentioned in Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 and 6. Remember Jesus and God the Father promise only that they would love those who follow the new commandment of love, that is, by becoming victim souls. Not only would they love these victim souls, but will dwell in them and work wonders through them. This was the case of St. Philip, the deacon, who was enormously successful in converting the whole of Samaria. His example reminds us of what John 12, 24 says, that the grain of wheat remains just a seed, but when it falls and dies, it yields much harvest of grain, 30-fold, 60-fold, or even hundredfold. In the first reading, Acts 8, 6, Philip, the deacon, was obedient to the new commandment of love of God. For this reason, Jesus, as well as his Father in heaven, dwelt in him, working many miracles through him, single-handedly converting the whole of Samaria. The reading said, and I quote, with one accord, the whole region of Samaria paid their attention to what was said, because they hear and saw the great miracles Philip was performing. Everyone in Samaria was impressed and awed at the new and sound teachings of St. Philip. Acts 8, 7 described the fruits of this work, and I quote, and clean spirits crying out in a loud voice came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled were cured. Samaria, as a result, accepted Jesus as their Savior and Lord, and all were baptized in His name. In Acts 8, 14 to 21, it mentioned Peter and John coming to Samaria to lay their hands to baptize the people in the name of the Holy Spirit. And lastly, the gospel in John 14, 15 tells us the key while Philip's work was a huge success in Samaria. It reads, and I quote, if you love me, keep the new commandments of love I taught you. The gospel further says, I'll ask the Father to send you another advocate to be with you always so that you are never orphans and to give you the spirit of truth whom the word cannot accept. Jesus promised to give us the advocate, the Holy Spirit, who will provide us with the intellectual and volitional gifts to defeat all those who obstruct God's plan of salvation. These gifts provide missionaries the power of the word to win arguments over their enemies. However, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15 to 16, reminds us too of being humble and respectful 
even when engaging our enemies in debates. It says, and I quote, Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asked you for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. Jesus also promised that He will dwell on those who obey His new commandment of love. As John 14, 18 says, and I quote, You will realize on that day that I am in the Father, seated at His right hand. If you are with me, and I am with you. And this Jesus will do when we are in the midst of our persecution or spiritual battle. This is the best consolation to know that we are not alone fighting the battle with Satan and his minions. Jesus indeed will dwell in us and will work wonders through us. As John 14, 21 affirms it, If you follow my new commandments of love, you will be loved by my Father, and I will love you, and I will reveal my power and wonder in you. It is important, therefore, for missionaries to spend quality time to pray before the Blessed Eucharist, at least for an hour and pray the rosary before engaging in any apostolate for the conversion of souls. Saint Vitalis was a Roman soldier martyr of the first century who served in the army of the emperor. He became a Christian and became the champion of the persecuted Christians. His close friendship with the Roman consul paved the way at the beginning for the safety and protection of the Christians. Tradition had it that St. Vitalis had a vision of the Virgin Mary who guided him in converting both pagans and fellow Roman officers into the faith. When on duty, he would accompany the Christians before their martyrdom and would encourage them to keep their faith to the end. He would assure them that compared to the happiness that awaited them in heaven, their suffering was nothing. Saint Vitalis was well known among the Christians who were about to be executed. He would volunteer to keep these prisoners company so that he could encourage them to be fearless. He would also ask the Roman soldiers assigned to execute the Christians not to abuse their power because God sees them and would treat them the same way before the judgment seat. Because of this, many Roman soldiers became Christians and were baptized through St. Vitalis' intervention. On one time, St. Vitalis helped a physician who was tortured and was about to be executed to face his death with resignation and courage. When the man suddenly became frantic and nearly gave up his faith, St. Vitalis encouraged him to persevere. His argument was so convincing that this Christian physician boldly face his execution without any fear. After the execution was carried out, St. Vitalis carried the body of the martyr and respectfully buried it in the dungeon's cemetery. St. Vitalis worked like a priest inside or outside of his duty as a soldier, 
because his whole family were virtuous Christians. His wife, father, and mother were martyrs, along with his two brothers, who also became saints, Saint Gervasius and Saint Protasius. This is a very good example for any family today, when from the parents down to the children, all can be bold and fearless in living out their Christian faith. Using the intellectual and volitional gifts they receive from the Holy Spirit, families can boldly witness to the risen Christ, especially in moments of persecution or when the Catholic faith is under attack. Unfortunately, the Roman consul, friend of St. Vitalis, turned his back on their friendship and ordered St. Vitalis to be imprisoned because of his fear of the emperor. The consul's hatred for the Christian had never diminished. He ordered all the joints of St. Vitalis to be dislocated first and his side to be torn with iron hooks. In the midst of this painful ordeal, St. Vitalis never ceased preaching with boldness about Jesus Christ. Finally, St. Vitalis was thrown into a ditch and was buried alive beneath torrents of stones from which he died. After his death, his wife, Saint Valeria, was also captured upon the orders of the consul and was beaten up to death. The remains of Saint Vitalis are kept in the magnificent church in Ravenna, Milan, and the dedication of this church to Saint Vitalis coincides with the commemoration of the Feast of the Martyrdom of his wife, Saint Valeria. A judgment day when we face the Lord, He will surely ask us how many souls we have saved as a guarantee of our own salvation. Empowered by the love of Jesus, risen from the dead, and the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, in imitation of St. Vitalis and his whole family, who were all martyred for Christ through Mary, let us seek and save souls who are within our vicinity and aim at making them all saints. Let us take every opportunity to evangelize our families, relatives, and friends, seeing to it that they are baptized and properly catechize, living the core care lifestyle to assure their salvation. Before doing any missionary work, especially among our fellow workers, let us devote an hour of adoration before the Blessed Sacrament and pray our rosary for guidance and blessings from Jesus and Mary, the King and Queen of the Mission. One way to evangelize is to imitate St. Louis de Montfort, who was assured by the Blessed Virgin Mary that anyone who wears the brown scapular and promised to pray the daily rosary will be saved at the end of his life. Mary promised to accompany them before the judgment seat of God and in their entry to the kingdom of heaven. St. Louis said, if I could only place the scapular and the rosary around the neck of every person on earth and make them promise to pray it every day and renew their consecration to Mary by kissing the scapular with a short prayer, totus tuus Maria ego sum, omnia mea tua sunt, they will surely be saved. In fact, Saint Dominic Guzman, founder of the Dominican order, heard Mary tell him to the rosary and the scapular, I will save the word.
God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Credo in unum Deo, Patrem omnipotentem, Pactorem celi terre, Bisibilium omnium et in bisibilium, Et in unum Dominum Iesum Christum Pilium Deo Nigenitum, Et ex Patrinantum Ante Ogne Secula. Deum de Deo Lumen de Lumine, Deum Berum de Deo Bero, Genitum non factum consubstantialim patri, per quem omnia facta sunt, qui propter nos hominis et propter nosum salutem, descende de chalis. Ed incarnatus est de Spiritu Santo, ex Maria Virgine, et homo factus est. Crucifixus etiam pro nobis sub Pontius Pilato, passus et sepultus es, et resurrexit tertia die secundum scripturas, et ascendit in celum, sede dexeram patris, et iterum venturus es con gloria, judicari vivus et mortus, qui es regni non erit finis, et in spiritum sanctum dominum et vivificantem, qui ex patri pilio che procedit, qui con patri et figlio simula doratori con glori picator, qui locutus es per propetas, et unam sanctam catholicam et apostolicam eclesiam, confitio unum baptisma in remissionem picatorum, et expecto resurrectionem mortuorum, et vitam venturi seculi. Amen. Benedictus es Domine Deus Universi, que la tua largetate cepimus panem. Quem tibi operimus fructum teri operis manum hominum, ex conobis piet, panes vitae. Benedictus Deus in seculum. Per ui os acud bene mistem, chiamo divinitatis consortis. Benedictus es Domine Deus in ebersi creatua largetate e cepimus vinum, qua tibi operimus fructum vitis operis manum hominum, ex conobis piet potosi spiritalis. Lava me Domine, benedictate mea, mundo me peccato mea.
Orate Pratris ut meme et besum sacrificium et citabili pia tapo deim patrim omnipotentem. Sucipiat Domini sacrificium de manibus tuis, ad laudem e gloriam nomini sui, ad etelitatem goci nostrum, tetiesque ecclesia sui sancte. Lord, accept our prayers and offerings. Make us worthy of your sacraments of love by granting us your forgiveness to Christ our Lord. Amen. Dominus pobiscum et cum spiritu tuo. Sursum coda abemus ad dominum. Gracias agamos, Domino Dei Nostro, digno me justemes. Veri digno me justemes, ecum et salutare, te quidem Domini omni tempori compiteri, seriti noc potissimum gloriosus predicare, com pasca nostrum immolatus es Christus. Que oblazioni corpori sui, antiqua sacrificia in crucis veritate perpecit. Et si ipsum tibi pro nostra salute commendans, Idem sacerdus altarit agnus exibuit. Co propter propusis pascalibus gaudis, totus in nobi terrarum mundus exultat. Seret superne virtudes, atque angelici potestatis, in non glori tui concinunt sine fine dicentes. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Dei Sabaut, plenus in celi terra, gloria tua, usana in excelsis, Benedictus qui venit in nomini Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. Tegitur Pater Clementissime, per Iesum Christum Piliuntum Dominum Nostrum supplices rugamus ac petimus, coti accepta beis et benedicas, ec dona, ec munera, ec sancta sacrificia libata. In primis citivi operimus, preclesia tua sancta catolica, quam pacificare cosadire adonare, et regere dineris tot orbi terrarum, una cum famolo tu, Papa nostro Francesco, et antistiti nostro Roberto Stepano. Palma de los Santos Tobias, Pamadico, et onibus ortodoxis atque catolici et apostolici pidei cultoribus. Memento Domine, pomolorum, pomolorum que tu arm. Richard O'Connell, Robert Hickson, Padre Jean Gary, Padre Jasper Ricard, Aswin.
kitam jem se konstanci in korom ti firis konje te esit nata di bočjo. Prokibus ti bi operimus. Belko ti bi operan, dok sakripičem vlades. Prosi so viskjani bos pro redimšani na marom suarom. Pros pe saluti si din kolomitati sui, ti bi kredon bota sua eterna deju vivo et bero. Comunicantes et memoriam venerantes in primis gloriosa semper virgenes Marie, genetrices deit Domini nasi Jesu Christi, seret beati Iosip Iusdem virgenes Ponsi, beatorum apostolorum et martyrum tuorum, Petrit Pali Andrei, Jacobi Ioannes, Tomi Jacobi Pelipe Bartolome Matei Simone Sittadei, Lini Cleti Clementi Sixti, Cornelius Cipriani, Lorenzi Crisogni Ioanni Sitpali, Cosmi Damiani, Itomium Sanctorum Tuorum, Quorum Meritis Ficibusci Concedas, Ut in Onibus Protectionis Timoniamor Auxilio. Anchi Gitor Oblacionem Servitudis Nossi, Seret Cunti Familia Tui Quesimus Domine, Placatus Acipias Dies Cunossas in Tua Pace Disponas, Ad Gebitena Damnazione No Serpi, Electorum tuorum iubias gregere mirari. Com oblacionem tu Deus, in onibus quesimus, benedictam ad scriptam ratam, racionabili me citabilinque pagere dineris, ut nobis corpus sanguis fiat, delectissimi pilitui Domini nostri Iesu Christi. Qui pridie com pateratur, aicepit panem in sanctas abbenerabilis manas suas. Elevatis oculis in celum, at the Deum Padre in Suum Nipotentem. Tibi gracias agens, benedixit, pregit, deditqui discipulis suis dicens. Ac cipite et manducate ex hoc omnes, hoc es enim corpus meum, quod probobis tradetur. Simili modo poscom cinatumis acipiensit un preclarum calicem. In sanctas abbenerabilis manas suas, item tibi gracias agens, benedixit, dedicui discipulis suis dicens. Ac cipite et bibite ex eio omnes. Ic es enim calic sanguinis mei, novi ir eterni testamenti qui probabis et promultis epundetur, en remissionem peccatorum, hoc facete in meiam commemorationem.
Mysterium Fidei, motem tuam annunciamus Domine, et tuam resurrectione incompitemur, donic benius. Undet memoris Domini nos servi tui, serit plebs tua sancta, ius dem Christi pilitui Domini nosi. Tambiati passiones nec non ita bimperes resurrectionis, serit in celus glorios ascensionis. Operimus preclari maestati tui, de tuis donis ac datis. Osiam purum, osiam sanctam, osiam immaculatam, panem sanctam viti eternet calicem salutes perpetue. Supraque propiciac sereno bultur espicere dineris, e recepta averi sicuti accepta averi dignatus es. Munera puriti iusti abel, e sacrificium paciaca nostri abre, Quod tibi optulit summa seceris tuus Melchisedec, sanctum sacrificium immaculata mostium. Supplices derogamus onnipotens Deus, iubiaec per pere per manus sancti angeli tui. In sublime altari tuum, in conspecto divino maestatis tue, ut quod querit ac saltaris participatione, sacrosantum pilitui corpus sanguinim sum serimus. Omni benedictioni celesti, grazie e repliamo. Per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Memento etiam Domine, pomelorum, pomelorum che tuorum. Amen. Mato. Qui nos picis erum consigni fidei, dormant in sumo pacis. Ipsis domini tonibus in Christo quei centibus, locum repigeri lucis et pacis in dulgias de precamor. Nobis coqui picatoribus pamulis tuis, de multitudine miserationum tuorum esperantibus patim alicum, suscitatim donari dineris, con tui sanctis apostolis martiribus. Iovani Stefano Mattia Barnaba, Ignacio Alexandro Marcellino Petro, Felicitati Perpetua Agata, Lucia Agnete, Cecilia Anastasia, e Tonibus Sanctis Tuis Intracorum Nos Consortium, non estimato meriti, sit bene e quesimus largitur admite, per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Per quem ic omnia Domini semper bona creas, sanctificas, vivificas, benedicis et prestas nobis. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, est ibi Dei Patria Onipotenti, in unitati Spiritu Sancti, omnes honor et gloria. Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Oremus, precepti salutaribus moneti, et divina institutione formati a demus dicere, Pater noster qui es in celis, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicur in celo et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie. Et dimita nobis debita nostra, Sicur et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos o malo. Libera nos quesimus domini abonibus malis, da propicius pacem ingevus nostris, 
O pi misericordia tui aggiuti, piccato, siamo sempre liberi, da ogni perturbazione sicuri. Expectantis beatam, spemmit ad bentum salvatoris nossi, Iesu Christi, che tu mis regnum mit potestas e gloria in secula. Domini Iesu Christi, che existi apostolis tuis, pacem relinco bovis, pacem meendo bovis, ne respicio spicata nostra, Set fidem ecclesi tue, e anche secondo un volontatem tuum, pacificare e condonare dignieris, che vivis e trenias in secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini, sit semper bobiscum, et come spiritu tuo. Ecco, mixtio corpore sanguinis Domini nostri Iesu Christi, pietà ce piende vos nobis in vita mitterna. Agnes Dei, che tolli spiccato mondi, miserere nobis. Agnes Dei, che tolli spiccato mondi, miserere nobis. Agnes Dei, che tolli spiccato mondi, dona nobis pacem. Eci agnus Dei, eci che tolit piccato mondi, beati quei cena magni e bucati sunt. Domini non sunt dignus et intres et tecto meum, se tantum dic verbo et sanabit or anima mea. Domini non sunt dignus et intres et tecto meum, se tantum dic verbo et sanabit or anima mea. Domini non sunt dignus et intres et tecto meum, se tantum dic verbo et sanabit or anima mea.
Sangha's Christi Kusia Tan Mita Mita. Siri Ri 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 Sme Nandara Me Aservari Ri Chi Dominus Ere Goro Gavo Patri Medhalium Paraclitum David Vod Pins Ud Mani Ed Fabiscum In Eternum Alleluia For those of you who cannot receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer the following prayer. O Jesus, I turn toward the Holy Tabernacle, where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O my God. I cannot receive you in Holy Communion. Come nevertheless and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it, sanctify it, render it like unto your own. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Amen. We enjoin everyone to pray with us this prayer for protection for all of us affected by the coronavirus all over the world. Jesus Christ, a King of glory, has come in peace. God became man, and the Word was made flesh. Christ was born of a virgin. Christ suffered. Christ was crucified. Christ died. Christ rose from the dead. Christ ascended into heaven. Christ conquers. Christ reigns. Christ orders. May Christ protect us from all diabolical attacks, wars, calamities, especially from plagues, sicknesses leading to unprovided death. Christ went through their midst in peace, and the Word was made flesh. Christ is with us, with Mary. Flee, you enemy spirits, because the Lion of the generation of Judah, the Root of David, has won. Holy God, Holy, powerful God, holy, immortal God, have mercy on us. Oremos. Almighty and our living Lord, you restored us to life by raising Christ from death. Strengthen us by this Easter sacrament May we feel its saving power in our daily life. Per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. Dominus Pobiscum et cum Spiritu Tuo, benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Ite misa es Deo gratias. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, bind into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. 